picking up a camera that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. And I'm really excited and I'm a little bit nervous. I hope it's in good condition. I didn't ask a lot of questions. I just decided to trust the seller. So I'll do an unboxing once I get back home. in here. I also bought a refill of this shampoo that I've been using for years. It's this Danish company, all natural and organic, and it's made in Denmark. That's really cool. I bought it years ago and I've been using it for years. It's lasted me for a really long time, but they had a discount on this, so I decided to get one before the other one runs out. A little treat. <laughs> it's absurdly foggy outside. I spent this morning knitting this and it was with the intention of it being the base for a tea cozy for our Lagabian because they don't have one. The last time I visited them they were using a hat to keep the tea warm and so ironically I put this one on and I really like the way it look, looked as a hat and um, I've decided to keep this one and make another one to become a tea cozy. And I have the idea to felt polka dots onto there. I was surprised by how small this package was. The battery. Right now the screen's not showing anything. Maybe it's because there's not a an SD card in here. And I don't know how to open this. I need to take a closer look at this. Oh, it's uh, it's not backlit. <sighs> I need to get to know this little baby once I get back home because we need to leave soon to watch the new Dune, and I need to make a smoothie first and pack some stuff. But new member of the camera family. It works and it came with an SD card. I'm wondering what the microphone is like, but we'll see in a minute.
finished it. It's so cute. <laughs> it still does kind of function as a weird hat, so. <laughs> I think it took almost as much time to felt these polka dots as it did to knit the base. I got impatient at the top part. I didn't do as many decreases up here as I did with the now hat. Uh, but I think it's fine. I put the polka dot there and it's a little bit bulky, but I don't mind it. I hope Lagavion likes it. <laughs> Otherwise I'll keep it, but I already have two tea cozies. <laughs> the lining is pink cotton, so it matches the pink of the dots. And there's a mother of pearl button at the top here, which is attached to the knit fabric so that you can pull the lining out and wash it if anything happens. Uh, you can't put it in the washer, but you can like hand wash it without getting the wool wet. And that was the, the concept I went for and pull it through at the top. It's quite easy. I'm really in love with like the different textures of this. And I think the, the mother of pearl detail just is the dot over the eye, as we say in Danish, the final detail. And I always like a, a hand-sewn feel to something. I've been thinking about doing this for so long and <laughs> it only took one day to make. So it could be improved upon with like the, the bulkiness, but I mean it works for what it is, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I filmed the progress of making it on my new camera and so far I'm really excited about it. It's really hard to see what you're doing because the screen is not backlit, but once you get to know like the field of vision and like trust that it is an actual video file that's gonna come out of it and not a grainy little 8-bit thing, it's great. I'm really, really happy I bought the camera. And I actually have another, I have another package that just arrived today with a swimsuit in it. I usually never buy things secondhand that I have to get shipped to me. Either I find it in thrift stores or I'll look at what's being sold locally so we can just meet up. But this time, within one week, within a couple of days, I bought two items that were sent to me. I'm a bit nervous about how it's gonna fit if I'm gonna like it, if it's gonna be comfortable.